please print out the PDF file on the description below or you can download on your electronic device so you can work with me. Part 1. Complete the table below. Part 2. Graph the equation on the number plane. So first of all, we complete the table first. So when x equals negative 1, let's say x equals negative 1, so y is equal to negative 2 loss of x, which is minus 2, we can bracket this, bracket mean time, and then plus 1. A negative times a negative give you a positive. So minus 2 times minus 1 is 2, so it's 2 plus 1, so which is equal to 3. So the answer here is 3. Otherwise, you can just put that in a calculator. So let's say minus 2 bracket negative 1 close bracket plus 1. That is equal to 3. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 2 loss of 0 plus 1. So which is minus 2 times 0 is 0, so plus 1 is 1. So 1 is here. Or use calculator, so just go back. I change that into 0, so the answer is 1. There you go. Now when x is equal to 1, so y is minus 2, loss of 1. You can write 2 times 1 as well if you like. And then add 1, which is follow this equation here, remember that. So minus 2 times 1 is negative 2, and then plus 1, I just write it down. So the answer is negative 1. Again, to use calculator, so I just go back here, I just change that into 1, and it should give me negative 1. So I just fill this up, so it's 1, negative. And when x is 2, so what I do is y equal negative 2, lots of 2, which is time 2, if you like, at 1. So a negative time positive, give me a negative, so 2 times 2 is 4, so that become minus 4 plus 1. So minus 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So let's check. So change that into 2. So it should give me minus 3. There you go. So it's negative 3. And then when x is 3, so I just change that into 3. So which is 3. And then add 1. So that is negative times positive. Give it negative. So 2 times 3 is 6. Add 1. So that minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. Again, if you can just put in calculator, so that I just change this into 3. There you go, negative 5. So just minus 5 here. Now part 2. So we have to plot these points on the number plan and then connect the points together. Is a linear relationship, so what we do, we can we only need a few points and we connect the points together and extend the line if necessary. So let's say let's start from um, minus one three. So that means x is negative one and y is three. So start from origin zero zero. We go to the left one horizontally and then go up three. So that's the point. So negative one three. So zero one, it means horizontally doesn't do anything, stay at origin like this, go up 1 here. So 0, 1 is here, x is 0, y is equal to 1. 1 minus 1 from origin, 0, 0, we go to the right 1 unit, and then go down 1 unit, so we have this, see? And then if we do one more point, that is x is 2, y equals 3, minus 3 is y, and x is 2, so we, so we start from 0, 0, which is here, across horizontally to the right 2 unit, because x is 2, and then we go down 3 units, so which is 2, negative 3. So that's a, these are the points. There you go. Now if I use ruler, connect this point together, and extend the line, it will give us a straight line. And then what I do, I just connect them together. And extend the line of course there you go and then make sure you put an arrow so because it still keep going so there you go this is how you 
graph a linear equations or linear relationship using table of values. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. y is equal to 2x minus 1. So let's do the first one. When x is equal to negative 1, so this means that y is equal to 2 lots of negative 1 minus 1. So or you can write y equal 2 times negative 1 minus 1. So it's the same thing. So 2 times negative 1 is give me negative 2 and minus 1 I write this down. Minus 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So this is minus 3. Otherwise put that in a calculator. So I just type this in first. So 2 lots of negative 1 close bracket minus 1. So that is negative 3. There you go. When x is equal to 0, so that means y equal to loss of 0 minus 1. So bracket mean time, okay? So 2 times 0 is 0. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So this is minus 1 here. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 loss of 1 minus 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 and then minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So this is 1. So noting that it go up by 2 all the time if you like. So we just fill it up because it's consecutive numbers anyway. So it is 2 times 1 is 2 otherwise and then minus 1 is 1. And then 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 is 3. And 3 times 2 is 6 minus 1 is 5. I just do it fast. Otherwise, you can just put in calculator and same process and then fill up the tables slowly. Now, to plot that in the number plan, so minus 1, minus 3. So origin will always start from here. So we go left one unit and then go down 3 because it's minus 3. So it, this is here. This is the point. And then 0, minus 1. So origin, 0 and go down 1. There you go. And then 1, 1. So we from origin. At or 0, 0, so we go right one unit and then up one. And then 2, 3, so we go from origin, so again, so we go to the right two units and then up three units. So there you go. So that's it. And 3, 5, I can just ignore that. I just extend the line and I should meet at 3, 5 as well. So now all I need to do is just your ruler and connect these points together. So now I just extend the line. There you go. So this is it. It give me a straight line. I put an arrow and then you can write the equation if you like. So y is equal to 2x minus 1. Second last one. So first one is when x is equal to negative 6. So when x equal to negative 6. So y is equal to minus 2 over 3x that is negative 6 at 4. So we can just do it by simplifying fractions. So a negative time a negative is positive. So then we just ignore the sign now. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. And at 4, so that is 8. So when x is negative 6, and then y is equal to 8. So I just write 8 down. And we can put in calculator and check if you like. Or if you find it difficult to um, do like this, you can use, use calculator, of course. So I put negative fractions. So 2 over 3. And then I just do bracket. You don't have to. You can put time. But I just like to put bracket so it's just easier. That's all. So bracket 6 plus 4. So which is equal 8. There you go. So when x is equal to negative 3, I just replace x with negative 3. So minus 2 over 3 times x, so which is times negative 3, and then add 4. So a negative times negative is positive, so these 3 cancel out. So leave with 2, 2 plus 4. So I just write it down, 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6. Again, I can put in calculator if I like. So I just go back here, I change that into 3. There you go. Very simple. So it's 6. So put 6 here. 
and when x is equal to 0, so we just replace with that, so 0 here, when x is 0, so y equal minus 2 over 3 times 0, or loss of 0, if you like, plus 4, so anything times 0 is 0 at 4, so this becomes 4, so 4 here. And then next one is when x is equal to 3. So which is when x is 3, I just write this down, y is equal to negative 2 over 3, lots of 3, like that, and then add 4, and then I cancel this one out, so minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, and then add 4, minus 2 plus 4 is 2, so therefore this is 2 here. So let's check it out. So I just change that into, into 3 and see what I get. So there you go, 2. So when x is equal to 6, I just clear this first. So when x is equal to 6, so y is equal to minus 2 over 3 times 6 plus 4. Then this cancel out, leave with 2, negative 2 times 2, which is negative 4 at 4. So minus 4 plus 4 is 0. So this is 0 here. Of course, you can put this in a calculator just to get the value if you like, but always try to do without calculator first. It just develop your thinking skill, that's all. So which is 6 is 0. There you go. Now part 2. So graph the equation on a number plan. So we have to plot these points, right? So minus 6, 8. I don't have minus 6, 8 on my number plan, so I ignore that. Negative 3, 6, and negative 3, 6, I can just put, plot that there, so minus 3, 6. And then 0, 4, so from 0, horizontal doesn't go anywhere, and but this go up by 4. And then 3, 2, so 3, 2, we go from origin, we go across to the right 3 units, and then up 2 units, so there you go. And then I can plot 6, 0, but I don't need it to. 3 points is more than enough. So I can just use ruler and connect them together. And extend the lines, okay? So don't forget. There you go. And then, of course, I need to put an arrow so that's showing that it's still going. And then I write the equation. So y is equal to minus 2 over 3x plus 4. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. So part 1. So when x equal negative 3, y is equal to 1 over 3 times negative 3. I can write like this. It's no drama. It's the same. So you just cancel with this. Leave it 1. And then 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. And then minus 2. So it gives me negative 3 so which is negative 3. Now, you, of course you can use calculator if you like, so I just put that in first, so 1 over 3, loss of x, so I just put brackets, it's easier, that's all. And of course you can type times minus 3, nothing wrong with that, so minus 2, so that is negative 3, there you go. Now, when x is equal to 0, so I just right here first, 0, so y equal a third of x, that means a third times 0, minus 2. So anything times 0 is 0, so this part is 0, so 0 minus 2, so that give me negative 2, so this is minus 2 here. Of course, you can put that in calculator, but I'm not going to do that this time. So when x is 3, y is equal to 1 over 3, loss of 3, minus 2. So this cancel out, and then leave with 1. 1 times 1 is 1, and minus 2, I just write this down. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, so minus 1 here. There you go. And then when x is 6, so we just go y is equal to 1 over 3 times 6, minus 2. So this cancel out with this, so left with 2. So 1 times 2 is 2. And then minus 2, I write this down, so it becomes 0. Again, you can put in calculator if you like. So I just move this here, I change that into 6, and then should give me 0.
otherwise I'm wrong. So zero here. Now when x is equal to nine, I just write this down. So it's nine here. So y is a third of x. So but this time x is nine. So just minus two. So that cancel with this. Leave with three. So one times three is three. Three minus so one times three is three. And then minus two. I just write this down. So three minus two is one. So this is one here. There you go. The table is completed. Now part two. So graph the equation on the number plan. So minus three minus three. So this is origin or zero zero if you like. So we go to the left three units and then go down three units because minus three and minus three. And then zero minus two. So origin and horizontally we not we stay the same and just move down vertically two units. There you go. And then three minus one. So from origin zero zero, we go horizontally to the right three units and then go down one unit. That we do. And then all I need to do now is I just use ruler and then connect these points together. And of course, I extend the line so that it connect to other points as well. And it should connect to six zero. So now I just connect these points together and then put an arrow. There you go. Thank you so much for watching.